Okay, last styling exercise for HTML, style your class list. In this exercise, you'll use the style attribute to add some style to your class planning list. Remember, we did this earlier. We created a list of five classes we wanna take. We're gonna style it in this exercise. We are specifically going to add a background color for the body, make the headers font size 36 pixels, change the color of each outer list item, and then make the class you're most excited about bold and italic. You can add any other style you want. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. First, we want to go and copy our class planning list. Now, your list should have five classes. Remember, I only got it started with three, so I'll use what I have from that exercise. And if I haven't pointed this out already, the docs tab will give you some more detailed information on the tags we're using. And since I am doing colors, I'm going to go ahead and go down to my color doc. Okay, so first thing we want to do is change the background color of the body, I believe. So let's go ahead and add in the style attribute to do that. Style equals background color. And then from your color list. You can choose something here that you like. I'll go with something on the brighter side so I don't have too much clashing. Okay, and let's run that and see what we got. Okay, so the background color looks good. We also want to make the font size for the header 36 pixels. So just like background color, we can also use the style attribute, but our property rather than background color, since we're working with or wanting to adjust font size, the property is font size. And again, I'll have that dash in the center. So don't forget that 36 pixels. Okay we want to change the color of each outer list item so literally each class is going to have its own color um oh and this is color not background color so pay attention to that as well color just that property alone will change the font color not the background okay so let's make the first class orange and let's run this because we made quite a few changes Okay, so that looks good. So web designs in orange. You're gonna go ahead and change the rest of your class color, but don't forget to bold and italicize the class that you're most excited about. I'm gonna go ahead and be biased here and choose web design. <laughs> and you can nest these tags inside of your list item tag, just like we did with our dream destinations list and italicize. So that goes also nested in between. Okay, so when you're done, each class will be its own color. Remember, for changing font color, you want to use the color property, so not background color. And don't forget that dash in between these properties here. Okay, very good work. That wraps up our HTML styling lesson. Nice job, everyone.